hope you're all doing well I just stepped out of my interview for my master's program in the adult um, dermatology acute care program at UT Health so I'm just gonna run down everything that I remember from the interview as well as just my overall feeling as soon as I got there apparently it's like a little cubicle seating arrangements where the walls are really thin he, they were still interviewing a previous candidate that was scheduled obviously before me and I did not want to listen to to it at all so uh, despite the I guess maybe receptionist secretary um, instructions to sit and wait outside the door I could not it was not in my best interest to just sit there and listen to um, the person that was doing the interviews so I got up I kind of walked the hall, read their materials up on the walls, and tried to tune them out. There's nothing <laughs> more uh, nerve-wracking to hear someone's interview and you're making up these things in your mind. Are they doing well? Are they not? Why is the interviewer talking so much? Why haven't I heard the student? Why, uh, so anyways, I did that and I'm grateful that I did and I was just kind of in the eyesight of the room so I could be able to um, tell when the interview was over so I can quickly get back to my seat and um, be prepared to you know stand up and give a nice firm handshake and introduce myself I am so glad that I actually arrived early I arrived maybe around 9 30 was scheduled for 11 o'clock in the morning uh, because it's uh, downtown uh, med center Houston and one I don't like driving and the parking situation is a struggle so I actually had to loop around u-turn and find um, the parking lot that they were ref referring to in the email and I'm like I need to follow instructions where is this parking lot so yes I'm glad that I found it and it came early and it allowed me the opportunity to review um, some papers that I had in my um, I do recommend y'all to get this this is cute one but so professional looking it still gives you um, some glam for the ladies but you can obviously get a male um, document holder so I just got this at Target last night and look how cute it is it was about maybe $15 and um, I wanted to obviously do my best to present myself as someone who's professional and really eager to uh, succeed in this program so I bought myself a document holder I did have other ones or I did have um, what I referenced before the like the resume paper and folders but um, I wanted something else so I'm glad I did that um, it gave me a boost of confidence just to hold it in my hand in my bag on my other hand and just look prepared um, what else did I bring I brought again love Target dollar spot um, they had these little pads and I brought it so I could take notes during the interview and I did do not be embarrassed or shy to pull out a pen and paper this person this doctor the um, director of the program I'm trying to get into has valuable information on how you can be successful I have book certification classes reviews things that I can start looking into that will help me succeed um, as a graduate student so I have here think like a prescriber which apparently is one of the hardest things for um, students to transition from thinking like a nurse to thinking like a nurse practitioner a provider so um, I'm eager to obviously once this uh, <laughs> This high wears off, um, this excitement, I can look back, review um, everything that I took notes on, and hopefully in a couple of weeks I'll get um, correspondence from him. So, the way I close my interview, um, I'll do other reviews or videos on preparing for the interviews. The last two things, <clears throat> excuse me, I do have a list of questions that I pre typed um, that if I didn't address them during the conversation of the interview, that I would glance at them at the end and make sure that I had the opportunity to ask them so I did all that and the last two things I asked obviously when they were going to make their decision and they're gonna do interviews for the next couple of weeks and then um, 
the person I interviewed with will reach out to me personally and then um, the student affairs or whoever will do the official um, acceptance and all of that. So I was grateful that I asked that question. Yes, it's a bold question, but do it. You don't want to leave. And even if you're interviewing for a job, find out when they're going to make their decision. You have that right to ask. Have that, Take the opportunity to ask. And um, they expect that question. I mean, if I were interviewing, I would expect to have an answer for them. Um, so I'm, I'm glad that in a couple of weeks I'll find out. And the last thing I asked for was, don't forget to do this, y'all. Well, <laughs> don't lose it. The business card. I don't know where mine is, but it's in here somewhere. Um, the business card. Make sure you have the contact information for the person you interviewed. I already have a template on my phone um, with a thank you letter, and I am going to edit that and email it to him. I genuinely enjoyed my conversation, um, meeting him and learning more about the program, the school, and how I can become successful. And these are all things that motivate me to achieve my goal of becoming a nurse practitioner. So um, yeah, I overall think the interview went well. I do get excited and I already had prepared one of my weaknesses is speaking too fast. And that's something that I have to consciously um, make myself aware and you know, slow down, gather my thoughts so I'm not tongue-tied or I'm not um, expressing myself in an articulate way. So, yeah, um, I think the energy was there. The My overall presentation of being prepared, being um, a student who is eager to learn and has the motivation to succeed no matter what, I think I was able to portray that. And that's all I wanted to be able to as I walked outside, did he have that basic first impression of who I am as a person, who I am as a student, um, who I am as a nurse looking um, to further my education and provide um, a more autonomous leadership, um, high quality care to my patients. So overall, I'm excited. I might do some retail therapy and I might drink some coffee. I haven't even drank coffee. Um, but yeah, hopefully you got something out of this video. I am super excited. It's done. It's finished and I think I did well and Like I tell everyone I did my best and I look forward to updating you guys how everything turned out All right, you guys don't forget to comment like and subscribe and share the videos. Bye